Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm wishing you a Happy New Year 2013. So far it's been going great since the new year just started. Now that today is January 1st, 2013, I wanted to look back of last year, which was 2012, to go back at some of the good times and the bad. Starting with the good. Now I've been at Inclusion Fit since October of 2011 and so far that's been going good for me because I got to meet um, the actor William Catt for the first time and I got to meet everybody as well including all the students I met that are actually related to one of the famous directors, writers, producers and actors as well very famous people all I have to say is everything was going good this year but there were some bad moments at times. Well, it was the first year where I finally got to meet Danny Bowman, the young animator that had been in Inclusion Films for a while, but moved on to having her own studio in La Kiana Frintridge, known as Powerlight Studios. I got to meet her for the first time since I've been hearing a lot about her before I even joined this place. I mostly heard about her from Terry McVary, which was my social worker. Anyway, it was the first time I met her because she was introducing us to all the new students. Well, mostly half of the new students, which is me, of course, Michael Rice, and was Amanda, as well as Sebastian before he left. She, she was doing an introduction along with her aunt, uh, Sandra, and Patrick. So they were doing an introduction to her animation studio, starting by using the Toon Boon Studios and, and all of that in order for her to create all these characters that she's been doing on all of her videos. In fact, she was doing a short film called Mr. Raindrop, which was a popular story back in the 50s. It was a very great story because I think I remember reading that when I was a kid back then and it, it felt exactly like that. It was pretty cool to do a, an adaptation of a famous children's story turned into a short film so that was amazing because this was the first time that she ever sent something like this to Comic Con that year and she got to send it to almost every place out there, including the San Diego Film Camp, so that was pretty cool. I only met her four times already, which was cool because we got to do the arts and artism event with my sister Eileen, because she was joining in for her drawings and paintings that she's been sending. It was cool so far, had a great time, got to see the entire event with all these paintings sculptures and all that that they were selling got to see everybody too that were participating I also filmed the event too as far as I remember I even got the normal people scare me DVD for the first time since I know Joey was involved in that it was, it was cool had a great time also that year I was involved in a uh, Tango project that we were doing at Inclusion Films known as Fruit of Heart of Tango. Since we were planning on doing another filming project for Inclusion Films, uh, the people at Dance Into Unity decided that they wanted to support us in order to film a documentary about tango. And not only that, but to focus on people with autism that they can join into the act. So that proves that, that autistic people can actually do whatever they want the same way that normal people do so we actually got involved in the project starting with the first day and I was involved in this I was working on the EPK for this one um, throughout the whole uh, day until 6.30 and then later I, I got involved in doing this for a while along with uh, Greg Donahue uh, Alfredo Hernandez who went on to do um, extra and all that and of course uh, Mark uh, Gassis, you know, he, he got involved in that too. 
But of course, we all got cut because we didn't join at that point. But it was pretty cool that we got to see that. Uh, unfortunately, it was only Michael Rice and Heike Gazassian to join in. They were the first two students to participate in the tango shoot that we were doing. So we had a great time. I didn't show up for the, the other two days, which I know that was a shame because... It was due to the fact that I started moving to a new place, which we, which I'm now living in right now, <laughs> as it, as you see right now, because this is the new apartment. We had a difficult time trying to find a good place that year, and we finally found one, and, and I'm just glad everything was turning out okay. And I got a new bed post, which is right here. Got a new cabinet, which was right there, you know, where all the DVDs and Blu-rays are. Everything was going great. Yeah. And, of course, I got a new computer, which is the Dell Inspiron. It's the laptop computer, and I'm using the webcam right now. It's really awesome, because now I'm doing videos. It's also the first time I finally joined YouTube again. I am so happy that I finally came back from YouTube after a very long years of being suspended from that account because I, I used to post a lot of videos of TV shows that I grew up with and all these logos and stuff yes I, that was me I was known as Joku85 so now unfortunately after all this time I've been struggling finding a better video site out there like Daily Motion. And I've been using Daily Motion for a long time, except I've been changing my name a lot, and I, you know, I closed that account twice until I finally got it back up again. So now I changed my name to simply the Red Baron 1985. Yeah, that's me, all right. So everything's going great so far, even though it's been having some problems because you know, once again, they keep doing this crap and you know, rejecting videos. I wish they would stop doing that because it's getting annoying. But other than that though, it's going great. And now I'm uploading movie reviews and all these creativities that I'm doing. So that's cool. So that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Especially when you're seeing. Anyway. But that's going great. And also the fact that we were filming another movie called Holiday Anonymous. That's our upcoming project that we were doing. It took us three days to do it. The fourth day, of course, was just... They were already shooting some half of those scenes that we didn't get involved in somehow because, well, we were on vacation that day. So that was cool. Because it, you know, it took us a day off after working three days. So after three days because it was very hectic, too, because I was involved with the gaffer. Yeah, I was the gaffer on this one. I had to set up the lights and yeah, put a lot of tape on on all the wires um, and on the floor, so in order for everybody to go through and so they don't trip. And I, I had to move a lot of stuff too and everything. And also, I was involved in in using the slate for this shot. So um, I had to take over for Michael Rice since he had since he had to leave. He got so hydrated too. He was. He was so tired that he just wanted to go home. I felt the same way too because I had to work so hard that day. I couldn't believe it. Other than that though, it was great. I got to meet the actress who got involved in the movie um, Carlito's Way, which was the uh, Al Pacino film from 1993. Uh, I was surprised I got to meet the actress for the first time. and She got involved in this project, so that was awesome. It, it was a great uh, we did a great job, and I'm hoping it gets completed sooner or later once we come back. We got to do a lot of great stuff. I got to meet some stars once again. We were doing some uh, Q&As with everybody. I got to meet Gia Mantegna for the first time, which happens to be the sister of Mia Mantegna, which is, of course, the daughters of actor Joe Mantegna, which I have yet to meet someday, hopefully. But that was cool. got to meet his wife. Arlene. So. Oh, um, and speaking of Gia, though, I mean, prior to the the award that uh, Joe Mantegna was getting, I actually got to meet her again the second time. But this time, when I went to Toluca Lake, 
along with my mother. This was like during December of that year. So we just hang around, going to all these places. They were having a holiday parade with that classic police car that they had in Burbank. I uh, had a good time. I got to see her in a mannequin, so that was pretty cool. She got to move a lot. I was wondering if that was really her. That was at the Pergolinas in Burbank, which is, of course, the local lake. So it was a shop. It was sort of like Pier 1, but it's different. So, great shop. Also, that year, I got to see some good movies and some bad ones, too. Um, the good ones, of course, was the, the Secret World of Arietti, along with Paranorman, Frankie Weenie, Rise of the Guardians, Brave, The Avengers, and so on. Yeah, it, it was a great year for, for these films, because they were awesome. I love those movies. It's also good because now I own all of them on Blu-ray, so that's cool. Because now I'm getting more Blu-rays nowadays as well as DVDs and all that, so that's cool. Great year so far for all all the Blu-rays and DVDs that I've been getting. And hopefully I'll get some more later this year. And I will. Don't worry. <laughs> but, everything was going great so far that year. But prior to the Tangle shoot that we were doing, it was the first time in years that I finally went to that feeder in Glendale called Beyond the Stars Palace which used to be the Roxy Feeder, owned by Pacific Feeders, which that was the same feeder where I got to see Total Recall, the original, with Arnold Schwarzenegger, and all these other movies that I've seen, that same feeder. Well, I got to see the actual Tangle show with Marianne and Leonardo, since they were the stars of that show, and also the dance choreographers for other shows such as So You Think You Can Dance, they did a very good job presenting this along with everybody, including uh, Lisa, as well as Jordan, and oh, Mary. They did a good job. I'm, I'm glad we did everything we can. I got to sell some tickets there. You know, I got to work with everybody. We were part of the crew and everything. Yeah, they, they worked so hard. They were getting tired after that. But I got to see the entire show and got to eat some good food and everything. It was perfect. It was the best night I had in my life. I'm glad everything turned out okay for everybody. So we had a good time. Now the worst times I had was seeing some bad movies such as The Devil Inside, which I saw in 2011. So I know, but it's still a bad film since it came out that year, 2012. And of course there were bad ones such as Battleship. Oh, terrible film. Uh, Total Recall was awful, the, the remake. I hated that film. I, I didn't like uh, Red Dawn either. Oh, it, it, it was just... Um, A Thousand Words was another one. And, uh, and of course, A Christmas Story 2. Terrible film. Let's avoid those films at all costs. But you get the idea. But the other bad times, of course, was dealing with the landlord at that other place, at that old apartment that we lived in. Oh, she pisses me off so much that I had to, I had to scream my head off for this. Because of the fact that we had to deal with the main pipe the whole time, you know, flooding over two bathrooms. It, it was terrible. But I'm glad everything's turning out okay. Everybody's safe and sound. Nothing bad happened that year uh, with the stupid uh, apocalyptic thing. I'm just glad that was just that was just you know over with. You know, I'm glad we didn't have to deal with that crap anymore because it was fake. But of course, we had a tragedy recently with the the shootings going on in in Connecticut, the Sandy Hook Elementary School, and. Also, a lot of celebrities had passed away that year, too. I mean, we already lost Ernest Borgnine and Dick Clark, Charles Durney, Jack Clubman, Don Summer, um, also uh, Don Cornelius and everybody. Yeah, I miss those guys. Even Whitney Houston, too. Yeah, that, that same year. Pretty hectic that year, too. Also, uh, 
Also, Jenny Rivera, too. Plane crash. Terrible. But, other than that, though, everything was going great. It was better than 2011. I mean, although I had some good times in 2011, but it wasn't that great. Had a great Christmas this year, thank goodness. Unlike last year, it was it was terrible. I had some bad times. In 2010, too, I didn't think it wasn't that great either. Also, got also had gotten um, a new shirt for all these Charlie Brown shirts I've been getting for my birthday. Had a good time, such as this one that has uh, Woodstock. It says, "This is my lucky shirt right here." Perfect. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, it was great. Also got Heavyweights for the first time on Blu-ray. Great year for that. <laughs> E.T. and all of that. Yeah, yeah I, I forgot to mention those, but that's good. So, yeah. Had a good time. Hopefully this year is going to be even better. And I'm going to have fun that year, too, because a lot of great movies are coming out pretty soon, too, as well. I'm also happy that... Uh, Later on, I'm going to be interning pretty soon. Hopefully, I might do that for Inclusion Films. Maybe we'll work on another short film. In fact, we're, we're working on one right now called Love's Cafe. Can't wait to do that one. So we're working on that next week. Everything's going to be perfect. Till then, I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.